So my name is Abdelaziz Youssef. Uh, I have been working in so many uh, fields and multimedias uh, during my career as an artist. I started as a cartoonist and a caricature artist. And now I work in murals and graffitis. I came back from the States in 2007. Um, I was faced with the reality I wanted to make money from the work I do. And uh, a friend of mine, Rashid Kowari, was hired by the newspaper to be a caricature artist, which is a thing that I didn't do then. But then I saw an opening for me, and this is how it started. 17 years after, I was a uh, a daily cartoonist in a Raya newspaper, going through a, a presenting a new style and a new a new look of things, uh, was an, an invitation to start uh, street art. And again, it was a paid opportunity that I looked at. And uh, uh, my first experience was being thrown in a bridge in the street that is 25 meters high, and I had to accomplish in two days. So I was like, okay. As long as it pays. <laughs> Influence as an artist was a long journey, actually. I met so many interesting people during uh, my career, uh, Arabs and non-Arabs. But when I started as an animator, it was uh, Mayuzaki, the artist, uh, which uh, my friend and I went to his studios in Japan. And uh, we were so obsessed with what he does. During uh, Doha culture city and all the events, I had the opportunity to meet uh, people like uh, Ibrahim Salahi, uh, Al Azawi, all these uh, modern uh, Arab artists who uh, been through the struggle and lived through the uh, flourishing times of the 50s and had these uh, rich experiences and conversations. The latest work of mine is uh, directly influenced by these people and. Uh, the effect they left on me. The message I wanted to, to bring to, to light is um, to represent the Qatari art and uh, take the, the, uh, the journey further. Most surprising and, and the joyful reaction I've received is uh, the family reunion uh, mural. Um, I didn't expect people to love it, to be honest. Like, uh, it's very surreal in a way. Another story with that kind of illustration is um, it was first exhibited in WISE 2019 and um, I was standing there waiting for a VIP person to come and see it. So a lady uh, came in and she was asking me whether this is my work or not and she wanted to have a conversation with me and I was like, I couldn't really move because I was instructed to wait for people, blah, 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 but you can have the tour inside and I'll be more than happy to answer you, blah, blah, blah. And, and then she said, do you have your work anywhere? I told her, yes, yes, I am on Instagram. So I grabbed her phone because I was very stressed out waiting for people and look up myself and add myself. And uh, once I added myself and so on and she's gone, I checked out and it was Shakira. <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> I did that interaction with Shakira. I didn't know who she was. I would like to uh, travel the world with my work. Lately, I was in Berlin and I was astonished by um, the, 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 the space they have for Arab artists and uh, the space of a freedom of presenting. All the creepy, crazy ideas are welcome there. So I, this is something I aspire and looking for. The motive of my work as Arab, um, the strokes are inspired from the font. Um, everything about the work is based on a study uh, done on Dhiya al Azawi and Ibrahim al Salhi Jawad Salim. The people that I would like to thank through, throughout my journey are many. Like, uh, uh, Yusuf Ahmed, the main, uh, one of the uh, elite Qatari artists, uh, he was the one who uh, integrated my first art gallery. Well, the names are, are limitless. I, I, cannot, I cannot thank everyone enough for the opportunity I was given. But there is one I would like to thank especially. He is not with us, unfortunately. He has gone to the other world. He is my art teacher when I was in fifth grade. And he told me, don't try, there is no hope. And that was staying in the back of my head. And this is why it just fired something in me and wanted to prove him wrong. So God bless his soul.